Whilst the hammer is lovingly caricatured as an unga bunga boinky wonky remix to ignition hot and fresh out the kitchen weapon, I feel like it's quickly passed off and flies underneath most players radars on just how fantastic a weapon choice it is. If you've watched any of my other videos, not only are you probably a very attractive person, but you've likely noticed that I use the hammer quite a bit. And while the unga bunga stigma isn't necessarily incorrect, sure the hammer is quite simple on the surface, but within the simplicity lies a level of complexity, or nuance if you will. Today I want to do a breakdown of the hammer and explain why it's one of my favourite weapons in the game and I believe one of the most underrated weapons in Monster Hunter. I'm Light It Up Dan and on this channel we cover action RPGs, roguelikes and MMOs to name a few, including lots of Monster Hunter World and Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. And with that said, Let's get to it. The hammer is capable of some of the largest single hit raw damage in the game. Its simple yet hard hitting attacks is very reminiscent of the great sword gameplay, with nowhere near the same amount of commitment required for each of the attacks. It's most likely the best option for stunning and KOing monsters as well, and instantly fully tenderizes with a clutch claw attack. Your movement is semi restricted to a medium run, but not brought to a full crawl. Let's dive into the hammer's moveset. Your standard combo is Y Y. Why? very low commitment, very high raw and KO damage, especially with how quick the combo is, and you can cancel out of it in between any of the hits. This is your bread and butter core combo, and if you only do this to play hammer, you're still going to have a pretty good time and will likely be quite effective. By holding right trigger or whatever button it is for you, you're also able to do a charge attack. This has three different charge levels and has a standard charge or the power charge. The first level is a simple small side swing, quick, cheap and cheerful, and allows you to follow up into the Y combo. Any means you have to queue up that upswing Y end of combo attack is fantastic. It's so quick and hard hitting. The second charge level attack is a quick uppercut with good raw and high KO damage. This too can be chained into the Y combo. Let's get that upswing attack off. For the third charge attack with power charge, and for the most part whenever you're charging you want to have power charge on anyway, is the charged brutal big bang attack. A large damage attack which actually has three separate hits to it. You're most interested in the final final hit. It's worth mentioning that you are mobile whilst you are charging, you can move around, you'll consume stamina but you're not planted still. This is a big damage attack and one of your deadliest moves in your arsenal. You can position yourself so that the final hit is the only hit that actually makes contact, really useful for a wake up hit against a sleeping monster. You can hit left trigger at the end of this combo to do a clutch claw spinning Beyblade attack, doing a bunch of damage and allowing you to tenderize in addition. This can be interrupted and you can get knocked off. There's a fantastic combo chain you can do called the Big Bang Attack. You are planted for the duration of it and each successive hit requires the previous one to connect. This is perfect for when a monster's been toppled over but bear in mind that for the harder enemies you likely don't have enough time to maybe get the full combo off. Unless you're perfectly situated the very moment they topple. If you can get this combo off this is the highest damage you can deal in a single combo with the hammer. You can link into it through other various attacks such as the second level power charge charge uppercut. Are you starting to see the complexity within the simplicity? Any walls or pillars you're able to run up will allow you to do a fantastic jumping spinning attack. Quick, stylish, high damage, great KO, and allows you to get mounts quite easily. This is the same attack you do whilst you're sliding, which if you're sliding for some time will be a faster spinning, harder hitting attack. You can do the clutch claw follow up spinning attack at the end of this one as well. Charging and running off a ledge allows you to do a jumping charged attack. By charging and rolling off the edge instead, you can control the the direction of the initial hop, allowing you to get into a bit of a jumping charge attack loop. This can be a fantastic opportunity for a quick punish. You'll also get mounts very easily this way too. After a charged uppercut you can do a flying smash clutch claw attack, similar to the spinning one but with fewer hits. This is lower commitment whilst allowing you to still get additional damage out and to clutch claw onto the monster. With a little bit of practice you'll understand which attacks you can combo in and out of, keeping your uptime as high as possible and not leaving you standing there like a lemon. Once these become more familiar your recovery time after attacks will become minimal. Well if it's so perfect then what's the catch? Well the hammer's got shorter range than a lot of weapons. You've really got to get in there. This means you're going to be in danger of getting smacked. There's no block or counter mechanic with a hammer either. So it's you, your hammer and the monster. Some of your attacks will launch teammates for better or for worse so just be mindful of that. And sharpness depletes moderately but is by no means a downside for it. When it comes to playing in a group you are going to provide a ton of KO damage against the monsters, giving your team more opportunities 
opportunities to knock the monster over and get a ton of damage out. Even just knocking them back, not even necessarily over. You're going to achieve that a lot with a hammer. Your instant tenderizers are going to be invaluable for the squad as well. Not to mention your big juicy voluptuous part breaks. Say goodbye to those horns, as you are going to need to get stuck in when you're playing multiplayer. Do yourself a favor and take at least one level of flinch free. Whenever I get in a squad and I realize I've forgotten it, I am in pain. Somewhat of an advanced tip, I guess, is you don't always have to have the weapon out. You don't always have to be charging. You might save yourself from carting by sheathing your weapon and dodging properly. As the hammer is a low number of hits but high damage, it's not particularly suitable for elemental weapons, but don't let that bother you if you're using a weapon with elemental on it. Like the Furious Rajang hammer. Absolutely killer hammer with massive raw damage. It's got thunder elemental on it, and it's just whatever. The level 3 charge attack, the charged brutal big bang, also seems pretty good for knocking enemies out of the air too. As is the charged uppercut and the jumping spinning attack. That's all I can think of for now. Hopefully that's given you a pretty solid overview of the hammer. So what are your thoughts? Do you play it? Have you thought about picking it up? How do you feel about the hammer? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And to my hammer bros out there, our bond requires no words to be exchanged. I'd also love to hear how you like to build it out. Other than the usuals like weakness exploits, maximum might. Are you a slugger? Do you stack stun power? How do you eat yours? One of these days, I'm gonna have to farm for some Diablos armor so I can get the slugger secret going. I really want to take five stun and see just how many times I get KOs on monsters. Or you can get the Frostfang Barrier armor, I believe, as well, off the top of my head. And whilst Elemental may not be the best for the slower hitting big damage attacks, when I was using the Defender's Hammer, which had Blast on it, I did find that I was procking tons and tons of Blast explosions. So maybe there is an argument to be said for the status effects, particularly with Blast. I'll have to try it out and test it out. Do any of you folks use that? If there's anything I've forgotten here, please do let us know in the comments so that we can all appreciate the hammer that bit more and learn from each other as a community. What other weapons do you think are underrated and absolutely deserve a spotlight shone on them? Some of my personal favorites include the lance and the charge blade. Let me know which one you want me to do next. That's everything for now, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe for more action RPGs, roguelikes, and MMOs, including a ton of Monster Hunter World and Grand Blue Fantasy Relink if you're interested in that too. I do live stream these games on Twitch and we have open lobbies, so I'd love to get some multiplayer going with you. Do be sure to follow on Twitch if you're interested with that. And I've just recently opened up my Discord as well. This was a previously closed community, but I really wanted to open it up and get all of you folks involved. All the links for everything are in the description. If you watched all the way up till here, you are one of my favorite people. Thank you so much. Drop a sparkles emote in your comment and I'll know. I'll know. But until next time, I'll see you in the new world.